Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Servicing, and it's time for another installment of CAD Wars. Um, I've recently had some questions about bodies in the tree and uh, joining, sewing, stuff like that. So what I wanted to do is, uh, I wanted to discuss, let me clean these up a little bit, I wanted to discuss uh, what we call join in V5 and V6 versus sew in NX. Both of them are very powerful tools, but there are some things that I really like in Katia that I wish NX had. Um, and there's some things that NX does really well that I wish Katia did. But uh, um, in this, let's see who has the better features. Now, I'm going to start out with NX. As you can see, I have all of my surfaces, various um, bodies as they're called in the tree. And I'm going to go into join. I'm sorry, sew. Join is in Katia. Now, uh, you can see you can uh, sew either sheets or solids. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as sheets, surfaces. Pick your target sheet, and once you pick your target that stays as the target, you have your uh, tools or what you're going to sew together. Now, for this, I can just simply do a trap and show a result. What's going to happen is it's going to go through, it's going to process what it can. As you can see, it found a surface or one of the sheets that disjointed from the sew. And this is good because what ends up happening is if I select OK, that here's my sew, it's going to show me that disjointed sheet. So basically what happened is, is I have one sheet on top of another sheet. And in the process of doing this sew, in this case, it basically uh, said, nope, not going to use it, and got rid of one of the two sitting right on top of the other. Now, this isn't necessarily always the case. In this case, both surfaces are identical. Okay, so if there's some slight differences from one to the other, then the system has an issue in determining which one to keep. Uh, the one thing that I don't like about the sew, just to be honest, is when I come in here, and I do my trap and I say show my result it says some sheets just when it gives you a warning and it highlights the outer edges all of the boundaries which is fine but then it gives you kind of this slightly tepid result kind of hard to see exactly where the issue is um, maybe have it uh, I don't know, a little stronger visual maybe have the area that worked um, gray out and that area sort of pop out a little bit more or the opposite whatever doesn't matter but something to notify you where the areas are because sometimes you have very very small areas where the problems are at and you want to know where they're at and it's kind of hard to make out so um, if you were to go into let's say a wireframe mode and do the same thing and you know if you're dealing with a large model you may not want to go into a wireframe mode and let me show my result you'll see here that it's still relatively difficult to make out the uh, that area now if I were to change the color of this for instance uh, let's do this because the, the part itself is gray and we'll go in there and we'll make it something a bit more vibrant we'll go to this magenta it seems to be a popular color for me right at the moment and I were to do that join, I'm sorry, so I really should remember <laughs> what I'm doing here. And we do that, and you'll see that, okay, maybe it's a little bit easier to see or spot. Um, if I try looking through the part, I really can't see that. So it's nice that it automatically deselects one of those surfaces. It's nice that it does the so for you, but I would like to be able to see where the errors are at. And that's basically uh, how the sew works inside of NX. Great tool, does a good job. Um, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty of the tool. You can see you got sew tolerance and all the other things, but it's just right now it's just a comparison. It's a good tool. Now, V5. In V5, we have a tool called Join. Now, the differences between NX and V5 is Join will join surfaces and it will join curves together so what it basically is doing is it's just it's not necessarily um, uh, specifically for one element type it's creating a feature out of several elements be them all surfaces 
or all curves. Okay. Now, one of the things that join does that I really like is you can go in there. You have uh, some options. As you can see, you can check tangency, check connexity. Connexity means do things actually touch? Um, is it manifold? Can I simplify the result? In some instances, if I have like a various, let's say all planar faces, can I simplify that and put one face in, that type of thing? Ignoring erroneous results, typically just don't mess with that one too much. You have things like federation, which is kind of like a quilt in NX along those lines, and then sub-elements to remove. These we're not going to, again, discuss, but you can see we got a lot of options inside of join. So the way this works for me is, is you can pick one element, or you can trap in several elements. Whoops. Let me, let me pick them before I go into join. Sometimes it likes that. And then enter in your merging distance and preview. That's going to give me a non-connect result. I have three domains. And those three domains, as you can see, those manifold errors are right in this area. So it's telling me where that problem is at. So if I pick on that face once and go to my preview, you'll notice that it fixes that. Uh, one thing that it does really well here is it highlights those areas where the edges are outside of the join tolerance. So in this case, I have this little green highlighting very, very well. Again, you don't see that as clearly in the NX version of this. Um, and then this gives me the option, just like I can in NX, to update the merging tolerance to get rid of those internal boundaries that I need to clean up. Um, something else that the join allows me to do that I really like, I'm going to undo this, is I can go into the join, I can pick one surface, I can go into this area here, right mouse click, and say angular or distance propagation. So if I want everything to be selected that's at a, with minimum tangency or everything that touches, I can, I can do that. I can say angular propagation. And what it does is, is it goes through and it picks everything that is tangent and it leaves everything alone that is not. So when I select OK, you can see that is tangent. Let me undo that. Go back into Join, select my surface. If I right mouse click and say Distance Propagation, it's going to go through and it's going to pick everything that touches. And in this case, it's saying I have an issue with the boundary. Where is that boundary? Where is that issue? We know that it's down over here, but I've hit Preview. You can see it deselected that area. Now I can pick the one surface that I want, and away it goes. Sometimes it'll show you forks. It'll show you uh, maybe there's two or three or four surfaces that, that are having issues. It'll show you those areas. Um, so it's, it's really kind of nice. Now, again, because of the way the algorithm in Katia works versus the algorithm in NX works, there are times when, like in NX, I can't sew two surfaces that do not touch, does not allow it. Uh, because NX is better in the context of recognizing singular elements within a feature, whereas like if I were to intersect a body with uh, two walls in NX, it would have an intersect in one area, intersect in the other area, single feature. In Katia, it'll do the same thing, but it creates an additional element called a non-connex. So uh, um, there's a slight difference in the way those algorithm works, and that's something for another lecture. But here you can see the nice thing about the join is that it does allow me to pick everything based off of a G0 or G1. Um, now I can select my OK and I have my final joined surface. There it is right there. And this again works for curves. It's not just for surfaces. It's any kind of a 3D element curve or surface to create a singular feature out of. So for me, uh, I really like the way this join works because you do have that option of picking things based off of that continuity. Um, and I think, in my mind, sometimes it's really necessary. And not, not I think, I know it's really necessary to be able to do that because you may have a, a, a parting edge or a, a sharp corner that you want to maintain as a sharp corner. Something else that the join allows me to do is, you'll notice I have this little red arrow. That's the normal of the join. In NX, I don't have the option of specifying the normal in the function. I can go in afterwards and invert the uh, um, orientation of the surface, 
But in Katia, doing during the join, I have that option of specifying the direction that I want for that final joined element. So in this case, I'm going to be be honest here about it. Uh, uh, the Katia join function is a bit more powerful. Actually, I think it's considerably more powerful than the so function uh, with an NX. Again, so is a great tool. It does some nice things like it automatically deselects uh, erroneous elements. I wish it showed me a little better what those erroneous elements are, but inside of uh, V5, inside of V6, and Katia, the join tool is superior. It allows me to pick uh, based off of a boundary condition, and then it allows me to uh, specify the orientation. And there's more checks in there that I can do than I, than than NX has uh, naturally built in the tool. Anyway, uh, join wins it. Hope you like the video. If you do, please like, uh, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, uh, section down below. And uh, again, just as a note, I am uh, in a partnership with ASC Institute. You can see the name up in the corner. And uh, if you're interested in any training, uh, please visit the website. It's not done yet getting there. It's nearly complete, but we are starting to offer classes. And again, thanks.